secure ones that you can dig away. I love this pick. Also pairs really well with the Zedwani. It's a double melee pairing. So there's lots of ganking options here now for Kanavi. I think it's a really intelligent grab. So just a hand tech drake. I'll let that one go. Right on the edge of the cast there, as you can see, Zayas now dealing with a bunch of minions and 369, losing out on that trade as Faker engaged upon once again. Permafrost is fantastic, and Knight steals away and all he does it. For the earlier summoner that he blown as yeah, Faker still has his Death Charge available, but no Flash, cannot get over that wall, so it's just... Gonna... not a team that is afraid of risk. You know, we saw in that first game where they got the team fight win. They go towards the Nexus. That was really close. Zoner's flashing the wall, they want this. Yeah, Nature's Grasp going to come through. The Flash has already come down, and in he goes with the Twisted Advance. Nowhere for 369 to go on this one, and Zay is gonna grab the... ...by JDG, down to 50% health. as Knight off to the side, spotted by the Sapling, and it looks like T1, they want none of it. They've lost control of the area, and they will just give it up. But it's 369 that TP... Oh this Gragas, his potential location in this fight. Faker is going to go in. That is going to be Knight stunned up for the moment. Missing, could be in trouble. Nature's Grasp not going to find too much value. And now the re-engage is going to come forward. It's a huge knockback on a Gamushu. Stays alive for so long. Not sure how that happened, but now it's Ruler that is just Zayas? free hitting. Zayas is massive in this fight. That's true. Faker somehow manages to curve the anchor. And it's a double kill now for Zayas. But the oh! re-engage is gigantic. It out. Knight was on that TP. If they can actually crack the turret, they could go over. Instead, it is JDG actually just starting up this dragon here, and Ruler has all his sums. Didn't have to use his flash on the last fight. TP. Vision going to be available here as T1 look to move in. There's the hook. It's going to connect. They look to just take one out of the fight immediately. Moonlight Vigil is going to do that as Ruler standing in relative safety for now, but they're not getting too much back. It's a fantastic ulti from 369, but can they actually get anything? Another hook is going to come through, but 369 gets himself out. Faker in a bunch of trouble. Oh. Isaiah's trying to help him, and Ruler so is going to get excited. They managed to take down the Drake, and Ona, can you get over the wall? He doesn't have his flash available for now, and I think he's just dead. T1 going to have to give them the tree. He's building it, no matter what anyone tells him ever, he will always build that item. The added poke is so valuable. Uma, the Everfrost was coming through from 369, and T1 has got to answer top. Nidus has been pushing in it again, and his JDG playing more heavily to the sides. Despite the fact that it is Zayas here on the Gwen, oh. they're the ones threatening. They're looking for it as owner. He's so incredibly low. Nature's Grasp now picked up by Knight, but they're not going to invest it on the low health Maokai. Kerry goes back, Shirelli is now picked up, and they will be able to claim this outer turret in the mid lane. Full information on the reset. Let's see whether it is going to be nice to them this time around as Knight standing on a ward. They know exactly where everyone is. As Kanavi, he can get into this pit at any time. It's a 50-50 pretty truly as T1 are now looking to try and find the turn. The hook is going to connect onto the jungler as now missing with the quickness, Zayas. but he's just going to die. Zayas diving into that back line. Missing's going to go down. And Kumayushi is just gigantic. He goes golden. And now Kanavi is no damage to offer back. It's another team fight. The T1 win at 24 and a half minutes. Why does this keep happening? T1 are just pushing through. They're going to have to go back to the Baron. They can't get Kanavi. T1 Baron. It wasn't not about the Baron. It was just about finding the one. Back and live. It's JDG who are onto the Dragon here. They're going to move to Soul Point. They will be able to pick that one up. T1 with their set of needles will chunk him out. Absolutely. And at that point, you're going to be needing to work towards something like a BT. Things can really start to get more difficult. Look at 369, though. He is threatening over the wall here. I think they're just going to give up the Tier 1. It is a big bear in power. This play. inner turret here on this bottom side, 3.5 thousand gold. It's going to be that Rebel Baron power play. Now, you know, they got this lead. They have been heavily, heavily forcing here. Oh. 369 in trouble. So much trouble as there's the depth charge. You got Polymorph not able to get himself out of the way. It's going to be an inner turret alongside a Gragas. T1 grabbed that one. Knight is teleported in though. Gets a massive amount of knockups as the Glacial Prison comes down. Owner is just buying so much space though. <laughs> what is that blast going? Knocks everyone around. And Ruler is going to be taken out. Faker Ruler. finds the hook. Ruler is now able to free oh. him though. Oh, that's two autos on Naguma. And he's just. Control wards as 369 is going to get spotted on that flank. T1 here at the Dragon. Should be a 50 50, but missing. He's going to walk over that control wall. They know exactly where he is. Gets himself past. Soul is going to be denied here. But now Owner is in trouble. Down to 50% health. They dive on top of the Rakan. He's now trying to play safe, but it's Owner that falls down. Zayas gets into the back line, though, as Kanabi is out of this fight. Knight has to go golden. And now it's just protect the ruler for Jay. The blue trinket down. Okay, okay. Calm down. 
All right, I'm going to have a sip of water, guys. Um, <laughs> can we just ask the teams to chill out for a moment? Oh just my a little God. bit. T1 are just staying in the area because they, they know that this could be a start here from JDG. T1 have four members here. Owners respawning in five. Well, Hook is going to land here as Faker just says, we're going in. Moonlight Vigil is kind of massive, but Ruler's going to take down Faker. Zayus is huge, but he's dead. And it's a double kill for the Jinx. And T1 why? just give them a Baron. Why did T1 take that fight? It's a 4v5. You have full information. Faker hooks in, gives over two free kills. JDG take the Baron. And in the critical game five, they take control. The overconfidence from T1 to say, yeah, no biggie. We don't have a jungle. Baron push into Elder to get all of that control. Absolutely, and Guma now missing his flash, so it's so critical that he completed the GA. He needs to have that available. You look over on the other side, some of the luxury items coming through. The Maw is now done for Ruler. He has the stopwatch as well, and he, again, just never seems to need his summoners. It's insane how many tense fight Ruler gets through and still having that flash available. So JDG trying to take all these tier twos off the map, trying to- one trying to get into position. Zayas could be the difference maker, but JDG I could just know. run down the front door. Okay, Zayas, can you make it happen? He's biding his time, as now Rule has to deal with him. Ona gets into the back line, but Ruler flashes. Oh, oh my god, he gets excited, and Gwen is not immune today. It's a double kill for Ruler, and I don't know what the option is going to be here for T1. They're going to TP back in. They're basing. They're going to use double TPs here. JDG are pushing for the win here. At 35 minutes, I think they may have done it off the back. Keeping cool, he held the flash after the last team fight, and now they're gonna break down the Nexus turrets. And JDG will be waiting to see whether they get a rematch in the final of MSI 2023. An ST1 falls to the lower bracket. JDG guarantees themselves the highest.